Hey guys, this is Fat Lutes from Fat Lutes Go Vlog, and this is my Trade Skill Master Transmog tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I buy and sell transmog items in the auction house to make gold. Um, right in this video, I'm going to be using Trade Skill Master 3. Um, as of the release of this video, Trade Skill Master 2 is still the live version, and I'm still going to be maintaining Trade Skill Master 2 lists, but Trade Skill Master 3 is in beta, and it's what I use, so it's what I'm recording my video in. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Transmog, I highly suggest you use a level 1 character with big ol' bags because there's a lot of inventory management that goes into it and running back and forth from the mailbox to the... Where am I? From Boston? From the mailbox to the auction house. And having big bags definitely reduces the amount of times that you have to do that. Uh, on top of that, I'd just like to point out that this, this gold making method is not necessarily for uh, the faint of heart. You definitely need an inventory of a couple hundred items before you're going to see regular sales. And even then, you might need a couple hundred more before you see super, you know, very regular sales. So just keep that in mind. Um, the goal is a net profit not necessarily to profit every time you post on the auction house but you know having your transmog items up there when somebody wants to buy that item is key so let me show you my new and improved list slash tsm we're going to go to the groups tab we're going to make a group called transmog and i'm going to import my list you get this import from this link here and here we are so you'll notice I have it broken down into price tiers um, this is the global prices that uh, Tradeskill Master and WowAction provide and I also have it broken down now by source so this is something I didn't have previously and I've updated in my new transmog groups um, I've updated to have it by source, and I've also added all not non-current expansion armor and weapons that are worth more than 500 gold. It's a mouthful, but that's what I've done. So anything that's not... Now, I filtered this by saying eye level 600, and thinking about it, there could be things that are lower than eye level 600 in this expansion, but I really wanted to rule out the epic items of, you know, having a high value being associated with transmog. Um, people might just want it for raiding, or, you know, gearing up their alts. So, um, yeah, I cut it off at 600, and basically added... 1300 roughly items 13 14 15 something like that there's over 3000 items on my list now um there were 1700 and change last time so it's a big change um and it's just separated by crafted dark moon fair and not crafted um this is basically so you could customize it uh if you want to turn off the crafted or you want to turn off you know the dark moon fair because i don't know why it doesn't work on your server then you can you have that option to kind of weed them out by source so what I do for operations for these um, let me just assign them I have an auctioning and shopping operation I also like to mail them to my alt but you can do that yourself um, looking at my operations the auctioning operation for transmog um, you don't have to worry about match stack size you can only post transmog with stacks of one because it's all armor or weapons uh, I ignore low duration auctions of short. Um, you could actually maybe go up to medium. Um, I'm posting for 48 hours, so if something's going to expire in 30 minutes or maybe the next two hours, I don't really care about that item because most of the time I have it up, that auction would have expired. So for my post settings, like I said, 48 hour duration. Um, I like to do this because it's easy to maintain, easier to maintain, um, not so much, so much monotony. Um, I post cap of four. Uh, you could reduce this to something like one or two. Uh, at least I would say two at at minimum, probably. And maybe you want to manage the rest of your inventory by storing it in a guild bank or your own personal bank. Whatever you want to do, I do four. I keep my not going to sell inventory on the auction house at all times, so that I don't have to worry and spend extra time doing inventory management. Stack size is set to one. Keep quantity zero. 
Uh, sources to include, I don't care because I'm not keeping any. Max expires. Um, I set this to 150. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, this is a Trade Skill Master 3 feature. Um, basically, if your it expires 150 times, it's going to stop posting that item. Um, might be a good thing to practice, yeah. <laughs> um, you can set this to whatever you want. Um, use your own judgment. Try and find, you know, what do you think is ridiculous if you start maybe, you know, 30 postings of, you know, two days, is, which is basically two months worth of postings is as much as you're willing to do. Um, if it is, I uh, wouldn't suggest that, honestly. But, hey, to each his own. Um, my bid percent is irrelevant. Uh, I just slid the thing, and that's what it ended up on. Uh, you want to try to undercut the bid of your competitor, and so adjust that for your server. Undercut amount is one copper, because there's no reason not to put one copper, uh, unless you like to feel good about yourself. Um, my minimum price, maximum price, and normal price are all based off of a global market price. Um, the reason I use a global market price as my source for my operations is because I think that it establishes a relational value between two items. So, for example, if I have a bracer that's worth, let's call it bracer A, is worth 100 gold, and bracer B is worth 300 gold, can, well, I wouldn't be selling bracer A. Hope you were paying attention. That was a test. So if I had Bracer A that was worth 500 gold and Bracer B that was worth 1,000 gold according to these market, these global market values, I would say that Bracer B is worth twice as much as Bracer A. So if I go on a big server and Bracer A is now worth 300 gold, I would expect Bracer B to be worth 600 gold uh, based on rarity and maybe supply and demand. Um, I would assume, you know, so this is a sample in my eyes, it's a sample of the WoW population, so it should establish some sort of relationship. And then that's you know that's how I look at it. It may not be the case for all items, but I think most items fall into that spectrum. So these percents that I use, you may have to customize them for your own server. But my minimum price is 50% of that global average. Um, my normal is 125%, so I don't sell it 100%, I sell it 125%, so I mark it up a bit from the get-go, and I'm willing to go up to 250. Um, when it's below minimum, I post it normal, because I want to get it on the auction house. Um, again, I store my not uh, going to sell, in quotation marks there, uh, inventory on the auction house. And when above maximum, I'm going to post at maximum. Um, you know, you can make your maximum as high as you want. Again, these percents are all up to you. I suggest playing around with them and finding what works best for your server. Every server is different. Now, my minimum price is 50%, and that's important, because my shopping price is 20%. So I buy at 20%, I sell at minimum 50%, assuming these prices don't change too much, and they usually don't. Um, then I'm selling for at least 2.5 times what I bought for. Get it? Got it? Good. Um, I check these two boxes because I want to show auctions that are above max price, just to see what's out there. And I want to include these items in sniper searches because I do. Um, if I see something that's worth a lot of gold, I want to snipe it up. Going back to my groups. I'm going to my defunct group here, and I'm going to my operations, and I'm going to override module operations and set this to no operation. I do not want to buy and sell the defunct. They're worth under 250 gold, and I'm not interested. <laughs> uh, that's what that means, defunct, by the way, if you're new to these, if I didn't explain that already. So I'm not interested in selling these anymore. Maybe you don't want to sell crafted at all. So go to the crafted. Um, when you apply a rule for the operation, it'll apply it to all its little subgroups here. So I could say, oh, I don't want to buy or sell crafted, so I'll turn no and no on those. Um, I do. But maybe for crafted, I don't want to sell the 250 to 500 group. So this is where the customization comes in. Um, I do actually like these. <laughs> right now it just includes the big booty max mask and robe which I've advocated crafting on my blog and the icy cloak it really depends on your server though you can really um, see some high volume of these depending on your server and the price just goes to hell 
when there's too many people there. But anyway, maybe maybe on your server you want to turn it off. Hey, play around with it. Try things out. Again, this isn't a one-size-fits-all. So that's basically it. Um, I use the add-on Mogget to look at item uh, models mm. when I shop. So you go to the auction house, go to the shopping tab, hit start search because we already added our operations. And notice, actually, let me go back out. Now notice that the defunct groups are not here because I took the operation off the defuncts. So start your search and this is where you can find some view time. Really relax, maybe get that thing done that you've been wanting to do for the past 10 years. Pay your taxes. Go take a poop after the Mexican you had last night. You got things you need to do. Don't sit at your computer and stare at your screen while this runs. It will take forever. That being said, we're going to go to the future. And welcome to the future. So here we are with the results of our shopping. Um, now, like I said, I use Mogget. So if we hover over items, I'll see the preview of the item on my orc. Now... <laughs> If you still have a choice when you're making your bank tune, make it uh, something that looks good. Maybe a, a blood elf or a human or a night elf or whatever. What, whatever you're into. I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge. But, um, you know, whatever looks good, transmog looks good on. Um, and roll one of those. So basically, you can see the model. I'm saying, okay, this is one gold. You know, I'm going to buy that and try to flip it. Yeah, definitely. This item, yeah, I'm gonna buy that and try to flip that. This item, oh yeah, yeah, sure. There's one on the auction house, definitely. Uh, Bizzle, belt, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it, let's go with it, let's go with it. Um, I'm gonna skip this. I might remove it from my group by the time you get it. Actually, this has been removed from the game, that's why it's costing so much, I think. That's why the price is so high. Um, Blood Knight Gauntlets, very cool. Look at that coloring, buying it. So basically, I go through the items, buy them up. Um, in theory, I should buy everything up to 100%. So you'll see this is at my max price. So this is the percent of my max price. My max price is 20% of a global. So the one that's 50% here, that's 10% of the global. So I'll be selling this for five times at minimum, right? That 75 gold there. Now, at normal, I'll be selling it for 12.5 times. So, good stuff. Living leggings. Hmm. I don't know if I really like how those look, but somebody else might. And since it's only 75 gold and there's only one already on the auction house, hell yeah, I'm going to buy it and try to flip it. Um, so anyway, that's basically how I do my search. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah, I would buy everything up to 100%. Maybe you want to take a look. So I, sh I showed above max price. Um, if I didn't, it wouldn't show any of these auctions over 100%, but they're here. So maybe you're going to say, uh, you know, I'm going to break my rules a little bit and say, I'm going to buy this because, wow, those are badass. Yeah, doing it. So that was 104%. That was above my prices. Crazy, crazy, but just barely, and, you know, I'll make an exception. Or maybe you just want to see, hey, what's the most ridiculously overpriced thing on my server? Glowing leather bracers. Yeah, I agree with myself on that. That's definitely true. Um, but yeah. So, that's what I do then every day, or every two days. Log on your tune. Run over here to the mailbox. Grab your items. So oh, I sold some medallion of regions. Just flipping some of those earlier. Run back over to the auctioneer. And do your Meet little post scan. Traveling. In the auctioning tab. And yeah, it's wonderful. It's great. Transmog. Hoo-ha! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest gold making and trade skill master videos. And if you're interested in more in-depth gold making discussion, be sure to check out the consortium forums, which are linked below. Till next time, guys. Cheers.